Hey, this is Mike. We got a really special vehicle here. It's a 2014 Ram 3500 uh, Laramie Longhorn. Really, really nice. It's got the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine, six speed Ison transmission. Wait till you see this. It's got the projector headlights, fog lights. I like that special grill that they have in these high end Rams looks pretty cool so here's the key and it does have remote start so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up alrighty so there's the steps on the side Let's see where it says Laramie Longhorn 3500 it's got the proximity key, heated side mirrors, lots of cool stuff. Now this vehicle just came in, it hasn't been washed or anything. I just want to show it to you before it gets sold. I do want to point out that it does say 2014 there. I know it's 2013 still, but this is a 2014 model year truck. Alright, so I have the key in my pocket, the doors are locked. I'm going to go ahead and just put my hand here on the, on the handle and the door is unlocked because it's using the proximity key. Alright, so here's the inside. I'll turn the volume down. Somebody was jamming. Alright, so here's the inside of the front door. Got some nice wood grade trim. Now you can feel the grain in the wood in this, this trim here. You got some nice stitching. You got pockets pretty much everywhere. Place to put all kinds of stuff. Check out those floor mats. Pretty cool looking. This is metal Laramie Longhorn Edition. You see the seats. These are nice quality perforated leather seats. You got some power adjustments here. See where it says Longhorn here. This thing's embellished everywhere. It's really cool. Got you a place to put a full-size file folder right there. So you got two glove compartments. There's the top one. Here's the bottom one. Got little pockets pretty much everywhere. Here and there. Here's the inside of the back door nice nice looking very high quality even the back doors have the you know pockets and the look as the front doors and we've got a really cool here's some of the trailer hitch stuff we've got a really cool floor mat system here it goes all the way across and you've got the ram with the barbed wire around it and you got the carpets in there so it's kind of like a carpet slash slush mat um, thing going on here let me move this over here because underneath the mat we do have some storage compartment here and this lifts up and this does have a removable storage bin in case you want to put stuff in there and dump it out this seat lifts up and underneath the seat you have this fold flat surface in case you need to put some cargo stuff back here that you don't want to put in the back of the truck and you also have your um, sound system. It does have an Alpine premium sound system. So your amplifier and subwoofer underneath the seat here on this side. You got some cup holders there in the middle. And you do have the same quality leather seats here in the back. This comes down, you got some, you got an armrest as well as cup holders. Now these back seats are also heated and you see the buttons there for the heated seats you've got your vents and a power supply back here all right this is a dually and you see here's the back nice big tailpipe 
There's your towing package. You got the backup sensors back here. You also have the, um, the backup camera right here. And it does have the sp spray in bed liner. So that way, like a plastic bed liner might have moisture or something to get underneath it. And this also has the fifth wheel um, gooseneck type, type attachment there. And you've got your connection for that over here. And you got some more trailer connections here. Step back a minute so you just get an idea of what the truck looks like from this angle. All right. So we saw the other side of the door. You can see this one's the same. And you do still have that storage pocket here at the bottom. And um, I'll show you the storage that they have under here. You've got a storage pocket here. So and that way you can put stuff in there. Um, these look like they're caps for the back and the bed there. Like I said, this truck just came in, so some of the packaging is still in here. And I'm noticing when I put this seat up, there's a little light here, so that's interesting. I don't remember seeing that in another truck before, but... And, just want to mention, check out these little pockets. They got like a belt buckle looking thing right here. It is a magnet pocket but it just has that belt buckle look. It's pretty cool. Here's the inside of the front door, just like the other side. Nice high quality everything. Everything soft to the touch, comfortable. And uh, there's your presets for your seat, power seats. And then you've got your pretty cool looking floor mats there. It does have automatic headlights. It has adjustable pedals. You see those that adjust in and out. The um, brake and, and gas, or fuel. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put the seat back a little bit. It's a little bit far up for me. And I'm gonna hop in. Step really helps getting in and out of this truck. Alrighty, really cool, check it out. And you've got this uh, wood grain, wood on the steering wheel. It is real wood, this is real leather. It's not a fake plastic or anything. And um, really nice. Now here's your cruise control settings on this side. On the back of the steering wheel, you've got a volume control back here. So I can turn the volume up and down on the uh, Alpine system. On the back of the steering wheel on this side, I can change the stations or change the tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back down. And you notice there's like a big screen right here. That could be controlled with these buttons here. So I'm going to scroll through, just kind of show you what's on here. Vehicle info, fuel economy, trip, different trips trailer tow, audio, screen setup, speed. So there's lots of different options here as far, and you can customize the screen, highly customizable. You've got a digital uh, temperature on the top left, and you've got a digital compass on the top, uh, top left, that's the right. And um, just overall really nice truck. There's your four wheel drive controls. You got your trailer brake already installed here from the factory. You got your tow and haul button. You've got um, your exhaust brakes here. You can turn your parking sensors on off in the back in case you need to get close to something. Your climate control settings are here. Your radio's here. It does have satellite radio. Um, there's different media options, USB auxiliary, and a CD input. You have controls as far as your heated and ventilated seats. There's your heated seat button. Um, you do have a cargo camera, so I can push that button right now and you can see when you're backing up to a gooseneck trailer or a fifth wheel, um, you can actually see right where to, um, to line it up and that way you don't have to take 
two or three people to line it up for you. You, you can uh, pretty much do it yourself. Um, so that's where that's located. And it does have uh, the backup camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse. I need to push the button since I use remote start. I'm gonna put it in reverse, and it has the backup camera up here. Now as I turn the steering wheel, you can see the little lines there moving back and forth. That gives you me a estimate on where I'm gonna travel. So there's your rearview mirror. So your backup camera will be in the rearview mirror and your, um, your cargo camera will be here. And like I said, there's heated and ventilated seats here in the front. There's your climate control settings. We can go ahead and turn that on. I'm turn the fan down so it doesn't interfere with the camera too much. Make sure the air conditioner is on. It does have a navigation to where you can make it go to a specific address or you can just view the map. Stuff like that. It's really easy to navigate through. There's your main um, buttons here, I guess you can say. Icons. This is where you can pair your your iPhone or any any phone that has a Bluetooth connection that's compatible and it'll it'll have your phone book recent calls you can dial different numbers and you can have your favorites there at the top and um, and you can basically push this button to answer the phone now you do have voice commands there's a whole list of voice commands and I'm planning on doing a video regarding the um, the specific voice commands for the Uconnect system but there's your voice command command button there and uh, and there's like tons of different apps in in the Uconnect system that you can download. You can have a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, there's Sirius XM Travel Link. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. But there's a Yelp feature, and you can turn the screen off if it's just distracting you. You can turn it off and turn it on like that. All right. So here's your buttons down there, and like I said. So you've got a nice pocket there, you've got cup holders here, nice storage pocket here, little place to put business cards, um, power supply there, place to put some pins there. There's your nice armrest as well as it, it's like a clamshell, it opens up here. And here's where your inputs are for your, your radio. You have a SD card input, USB and auxiliary inputs as well as a USB charger to the right. And you can put a tablet or a small laptop in here. And charge it you can charge your cell phones or whatever it's a place to put some coins there and this whole thing lifts up and that's where you'll find your CD player and a lot of more storage under here you do have some you have an assistant button you have 911 button those are related to you you connect um, access up here is your garage door openers here's a little um, infrared sensor for your temperature this is uh, for your back glass you got some tap lights in case you needed a quick light you also have a sunroof and you have the controls right here for that now it does vent it also go slides back like that it goes all the way back but I'm just showing you and it also has a shade. Rear view mirrors have lights and mirrors in them. Same thing on the other side. So yeah, there's tons of features. There's probably a lot of stuff that I skipped over because there's just so much. But if you're interested in this vehicle, do you want to take it for a test drive and check it out? Um, just come and look at it. It's really, really interesting uh, vehicle. But anyway, my phone number and email address will be in the description, and I'll see you next time.